Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So I am leaving on a week-long trip to Iceland in just a couple of days, and so I want to show you guys what I am packing for a week-long trip in my carry-on suitcase. This is the suitcase I've had for like, I don't know, 10, 15 years or so. That's why it's all pink and flowery, but that's okay. <laughs> At least it stands out. I don't know the exact dimensions of it or anything. Um, if I get that, I will let you guys know. So my plan for this video is basically just to walk through with you guys what I'm packing and some tips that I have, and so maybe that will help you if maybe you're packing for a week or so long trip as well. So one of the first things to think about before you pack is, of course, the weather and what it's going to be like, what kind of clothes you're going to need, and all of that. I'm going to Iceland, and it is summertime there, but it is Iceland. <laughs> so it's going to be like high 40s, low 50s the whole time. So I'm mainly going to be bringing uh, lots of layers. I'll be bringing pants, and some of the pants can roll up in capris, but I'll probably never need that. And then I'll be bringing a uh, small jacket and then a larger kind of fleece-lined rain jacket to go over that. Especially because Iceland supposedly rains like all the time. So once you figure out how long you're going and what the weather's going to be like, I would then suggest to basically get out everything you're going to pack before you even pack any of it. So that's what I have done over here on my bed, so I'll kind of walk you guys through that and show you guys what I plan on taking. So this is basically my bed at the moment. I kind of just put everything everywhere and then I'll figure out how to actually pack it later. So first thing I did was get out pants and shirts. So I will be bringing three pairs of pants. I have one pair of jeans and two pairs of these more kind of waterproof hiking type pants. I think these are going to be especially nice uh, because it's going to be raining a lot, but we'll also want some ventilation and all of that. And then I kind of put shirts above that. So I have seven shirts, but because we will be gone for one week. And I kind of tried to pick shirts that would go with these pants. I don't really know if that worked. You can tell that I have zero fashion sense. So once I got all of my shirts and pants laid out, I then moved on to things like socks. And I basically just picked out eight pairs of socks. And the reason why there's eight and not seven is because I usually try to pack one extra pair of socks and one extra pair of underwear when I'm packing to go somewhere because you never know what can happen. I also have my pair of pajamas here. Don't forget that. And then I have my swimsuit up here because we will be going to the Blue Lagoon and so we will need a swimsuit. I also recommend that you get out what outfit you are going to wear on the plane beforehand and then have that kind of out of the way so that you don't pack it but you still have it picked out. So I think my plan is to wear this pair of jeans and this t-shirt because it's comfy and I like it. And also it's from Serengeti and it says travel more on the back. So for some reason I feel like that is appropriate airport attire. And now that I just completely unfolded that, I'll just throw that there. I have other things that I think I'm going to take like this purse. Um, I think this might be helpful to travel with. You can also keep a water bottle in it and stuff like that. I have my heavy duty rain jacket that I was talking about earlier that has this kind of fleece lining and I think it's going to be really perfect for Iceland. I am not taking my semester at Sea Teddy Bear, it just happens to be there. And then I have other toiletries and stuff like that right here. Um, I'll show you guys everything that's basically in this bag and I have my makeup here and some more toiletries in this bag, as well as my knockoff GoPro type of thing, some earplugs, and this little pillow and blanket set. But some of this may end up going into my backpack carry-on, personal item, whatever you want to call it. So that may not even end up going into my suitcase, but I decided I would show it anyway. So now that I have everything laid out, it is time to pack it up. So I think what I'm going to do is to try to use these packing cubes. These are by Shack Pack. I like them. They're fine. And I actually have a set of blue ones and purple ones. I don't know if they're by the same brand. I actually don't think so. It doesn't matter what brand of packing cubes you get. But I'm going to try to use these to help me stay organized while I'm packing, especially because we are going to be moving from hotel to hotel to hotel every single night. So I'm going to try to use that to help me keep organized so that my suitcase doesn't become a chaotic mess. So first I'm going to move my airplane outfit because I do not need that. Actually, maybe I'll just sit up here. Let's try that. Okay, let's see how this is gonna go. Also, this is giving me major vibes of that video when I was packing for semester at sea. I was basically doing the same thing. I think I was like sitting on my bed, putting things in packing cubes and <sighs> I miss it. But it's time for a new adventure. Actually, I don't know what my plan with this packing cube was. I think I was gonna try to fit 
all of my pants in here, but I don't think I'll need a packing cube this big for just that. So I'm going to roll up my pants because I think that rolling helps to save space. Wow, that one pair of jeans already somehow took up like a third of the packing cube. I think I will put in my pajamas. Well, that is one packing cube filled. Now I need to grab another one for all the t-shirts. And then I'm just going to roll up my t-shirts as well. All right, so now I've basically got all of my stuff and all that's left to do is to put it into my suitcase. So here in this packing cube, I have all of my pants and my pajamas. And I'm going to try to pack heavier things like this towards the bottom of my suitcase because when you pick it up and you roll it and the wheels are down here, then everything's going to kind of shift down. So you don't wanna put more small or breakable things towards the bottom. And then in this packing cube, I have all of my shirts rolled up like that. I probably didn't even really need a packing cube for this, but it just makes me feel like I'm being more organized. And at least then if I'm looking for a shirt, I know where to find it. And then I have this packing cube that has all of my socks and my underwear and hair apparently. Now we basically just have all of this extra space right here to fit everything else. One of the first things I'm going to put in is this big bulky jacket. I would suggest that if you have, you know, kind of big jackets like this, you could wear it on the plane, but because it's so hot, I just can't see myself wearing this on the plane until we get to Iceland. So I think I'm just going to try to pack it in here for now. If that ends up not working, then I'll take it out and wear it, but we'll see. I'm gonna kind of just try to roll this up somewhat. Also, shoe-wise, I am only going to be wearing one pair of shoes. I'm going to wear this pair of North Face shoes. I like hiking shoes, but they are also water resistant or waterproof or whatever you want to call it. So I think that's going to be very helpful because it is going to be raining a lot. It's going to be very wet and cold. So I'm just going to wear these the whole time so then I don't have to pack any shoes. But if you guys are packing maybe a couple pairs of shoes or something for wherever you're going, I would recommend to wear your bulkiest pair of shoes and pack the shoes that uh, maybe lay more flat or would be easier to pack and wouldn't take up as much room in your suitcase. Next, I have my toiletries, so I will go through that with you guys and show you what I am bringing. First off, I have this quart-sized bag of all of my liquids because often at security they want you to take out all of your liquids and I think they also say it can't be like more than a quart-sized bag worth, so I put it all in here to make sure that I don't have too much. And in here I have some shampoo and conditioner, some dry shampoo, uh, some face wash, some sunscreen, and then something I also always like to do with my bag of liquids is stick it into another quart-sized bag because this just gives an extra layer of protection in case something explodes in transit. Because oftentimes when you're in airplanes and stuff, everything expands, some, your shampoo bottle or whatever ends up exploding everywhere and you don't want it all over your suitcase and your clothes. So I put it into a double Ziploc bag to make sure that if something does happen, it at least stays contained. Then in this bag, I have basically all of my non-liquid toiletries. In here, I have things like a shower cap, some makeup removing wipes, a toothbrush, some toothpaste, and some floss, some chapstick, deodorant, a razor, a big bag of earplugs, and this, which is actually technically another liquid, but for some reason I guess I didn't feel like putting it in the liquids bag. And this, they're not contacts, this is actually another kind of cool travel hack that I'll show you guys. So if you have some bottles of lotion, like I use lotion on my face and I use a different lotion on my face in the morning than I do at night because the one I use in the morning has sunscreen in it. And so what I did is used a contacts case and basically just filled it up with lotion and I have the two different kinds. So I have one for night and one for day and I just try to remember which one is which. And then all you have to take is this and it stays sealed and nice. And again, in case it explodes, I'm putting it inside of this bag 
because you never know. It just makes it a lot easier for you to take lotion without having to take a whole big bottle of it. Next, I have my makeup bag, so I will show you guys what I'm taking in here. I don't plan to be wearing that much makeup or anything. I'm not taking any eyeshadow palettes or anything like that. So I'm just limiting myself to taking whatever fits in this little bag. And what I also like about this bag is it is very thin, so basically it can fit on top of things very easily and not take up that much space. So in it, I will have some eyeliner, some concealer, a waterproof mascara, because again, it's going to be raining, my powder foundation, some regular pressed powder, this little mini kabuki brush, uh, mainly for like blending things in, like my under eye concealer and stuff like that, and then an eyelash curler. So there we go, all of that fits in here pretty nicely, and that can just sit right on the top there. I think I'm also going to be taking this purse, um, just if we go out to explore and stuff like that, I can bring this. It's a nice traveling purse, um, I used it all for semester at sea and everything. One thing I really like about it is that it has a pocket for your water bottle, so that means that you can have water wherever you go. And it basically just has like a really big pocket in here. I really think this is like way too big for what I need, but I don't really have any other good options for carrying stuff around. And I really like the fact that this has a water bottle holder. So yeah, anyway, I'll end up putting my purse in here for now, but that may end up coming out later on. A few other miscellaneous things that I'm packing are a laundry bag. I'm pretty sure this is actually a um, sleeping bag holder. Yeah, no, it definitely is. But I'm just going to use it as a dirty laundry bag. And this is something that I often forget to take with me when I'm packing to go somewhere, but then it's very useful when you get to your destination because you have all your dirty clothes that start accumulating and you don't know what to do with them, so put them in here. I'm also taking this travel adapter because Iceland uses European plugs that look just like this with the two little prongs. So I will be able to plug this into the wall and then plug in USB things or my laptop into here or things like that. So this should be very useful. Again, if you're traveling somewhere internationally, be sure to check what kind of plugs they use because you might need an adapter and or a converter. So see what kind of voltage your electronics take. Luckily, all of mine are like 110 to 240 or whatever. So I don't need a converter. I just need an adapter to change the plug. So this is going in the suitcase. I'm also taking this little travel umbrella because then, like I've said many times, it is going to be raining a lot. I also have a hairbrush. Ooh, I caught it. <laughs> and I have this GoPro thing, which again is like a fake GoPro. I think it's DP Power. Yeah, it's worked fine for me and it's like way, way, way cheaper than a GoPro. And I'll be taking this along with my regular vlogging camera. But if conditions, again, are too wet and cold or whatever for my nice camera, then I might end up pulling this one out and using it instead. But I will be vlogging my whole trip, so be sure to subscribe if you guys aren't already so that you can see all of that. But the last thing that I will be putting into my suitcase is my swimsuit. This will be for things like the Blue Lagoon. And I'm actually going to put this in the outer pocket here of my suitcase because we are going to be going to the Blue Lagoon like as soon as we land and we're going straight from the airport to there. So I want to make sure that it will be easily accessible. So here's basically everything that I've got packed into my suitcase. Again, this is just taking up kind of a ridiculous amount of room, so I'm not so sure about that purse. But everything else fits pretty well. I've got my shirt and my pants down there, socks and underwear and stuff, and then basically here just my jacket and toiletries, makeup, other random things, and hairbrush and all of that. And then I don't have anything in the outside pockets besides my swimsuit right here, but I have nothing in here. So yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope maybe that gave you some ideas. If you are packing to go on a week or so long trip somewhere and you're wondering how to get everything into your carry-on. Next, I will be filming a video about everything that I'll be taking basically in my backpack personal item onto the airplane, which will basically just have everything else that I want to pack and things that I will want for the long airplane ride there because it's going to be quite a journey. We have like a long car trip and then one airplane and then a layover and then another really long airplane ride over to Iceland and it's just, it's gonna be a long day. So I will be showing you guys what I pack in my backpack for that in the next video. 
And I'm not sure if that's going to be going up next Sunday or what the deal with that is going to be because, again, I'm going to be in Iceland, I don't know what internet is going to be like, blah blah blah. I'm also not totally sure what my Iceland vlogs are going to look like. Um, I want to do some kind of travel diary or something, but I kind of want to vlog some of it too that isn't just for like a travel diary type of video, uh, so I'm not sure when those are going to go up or what's going to happen with that, but I think that my upload schedule in the next couple weeks might be a little little bit different or weird than normal. So if you guys want to stay tuned and know when I upload, I would suggest that you turn on the notification bell because then you get notified when I upload. And yeah, I think that is it. I'll probably end up kind of taking some things out or reorganizing some things, I don't know, but I think this is a pretty good start for right now. I would also suggest that you guys make a packing list beforehand so that you kind of get an idea of what you want to pack and what kind of things you need for your specific trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Again, subscribe if you want to stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye!